apparently people on the internet and on TV that are supposed to be professionals using this kind of camera angle. It's something that really, really frustrates me, especially when there's something like this, the Insta360 Link 2C and the Link 2 available for relatively low price. So that's what we're talking about in this video today. Get your video calls and professional interviews up to standard. So I mean, look at this. This is the $149 Link 2C. They have the Link 2, which is the other gimbal version. This is just a fixed camera. Comes in the box with the mount to fit onto most displays and then the camera magnetically mounts to that display and with a high-speed USB-C cable in the box as well. So for $149, you can get this amazing quality web camera, which far outperforms any web camera on the market in my personal opinion and it's also got this auto framing feature that you get on sort of Apple devices where you can move around the frame and it will keep you in the frame as much as it can do with this angle that it's got um, so you've got that feature as well on the even on this fixed um, conference camera style of uh, webcam it's really really good and this is a built-in audio as well you're getting from the link to C. So when it comes to the webcam market, Insta360 are doing the same thing that they've done with the 360 market. They're really capitalizing on the lack of competition and they're making the cameras really good, not only with the hardware, but with the software. The software is so good, it's absolutely exceptional. It has some really good features and effects for not only the average Joe, but the professionals out there. So hardware wise, same with 360 cameras, some good cameras out there. The hardware is very, very good. Much like the link, the hardware is very good. You've got an F 1.8 lens on here, half inch sensors, 4K, both of these cameras are 4K quality. So let's just touch on the software and what you can do with it and take a deep dive into that quickly. So this is another handy little feature that is unique to the Insta360 Link 2 and the 2C. All you have to do is put the Vs up and gesture control and the camera will scan for a whiteboard. What you have to do is put, is, which, which way are we? <laughs> you see these markers that come with the camera, you put those on each four corners of your whiteboard and then you put some Vs up and the camera scans the background looks for those markers and we can see now we've got the whiteboard in the shot so you can do your writing your teaching whatever you're doing on your conference call which is amazing so it's there so everybody can see it full screen and then if you want to turn it off you just actually basically do the v's as well like that and it turns the whiteboard off so this is something that's very unique to this camera and if you are a teacher a lecturer this is a really killer feature it's with the image quality you get from this as well the fact you can zoom in on that whiteboard is absolutely brilliant and you can do it with gesture controls as well it's such a good feature so this is the link software let's go through it and show you exactly what it's all about the quality of these cameras is so so good nothing really comes close to it with my testing i've done a video recently uh, testing it against the brio the logitech mx brio um that was supposed to be probably one of the best cameras on the market and to me just doesn't come close to this the image quality is superior and you're not going to get anything as good as this on the market in my personal opinion anyway so this is what you get you can actually control the camera by uh, dragging your cursor on the screen so that's one way of controlling the camera you've also got this adjustment up here you can zoom in if you want to as well zoom out and you can add up to six i think presets um so preset points so if i want to have that as my preset points and then i want this one as my preset point you can see all the rubbish in the background we can then click between these two presets which is really really good you've also got smart composition where that allows the camera just to focus on your head half body or whole body pause track area so if you're walking around in the scene and it's tracking you you can ask it to pause in a particular point so you can talk and then move on so that's great you don't always want it tracking you 100 percent of the time you can uh, change all the tracking speed enable auto tracking tap to touch once so you can it's got actually a touch sensitive point on the front of the camera where you double tap and it takes it back to the center which is another brilliant thing about this camera it's so cool uh, you've got the color options here it's they've added a bunch of different ones here where you can actually manual manually uh, control your exposure um, I have got a lot of like colored lights in here so you know just bear that in mind it, the, the image quality is absolutely phenomenal out of this thing you've also got natural blur effects now so I can add that blur and then you can change the strength of the blur as well the intensity 
which I mean it's it's really really bonkers and then you've got uh, bokeh if you just don't want the blur effect and you can increase the intensity of the bokeh as well I mean the natural bokeh of this camera is good because it's an f1.8 so I've got all these different filters now to change the color so if you do think your skin tone is a little bit red because you've got all these different lights around you can play around with the different uh, daylight and vintage and stuff like that so you've got all that option um, so those are filters you've got built in as well and then if we go to more this is where you control the AI tracking you've got palm which actually enables the tracking you've got the V sign which enables the whiteboard mode and you've got the uh, L sign there which enables the zoom up and down as well so you can do all that then you've got all these other settings and vertical flip smart adjustment horizontal horizontal correction privacy mode um, so you can actually enable these on and off um, over here you've got all the different you can actually have it used as a virtual camera for different software streaming softwares as well if you want to which is another option that a lot of people use you can actually control more than one camera at a time in here so somebody asked a question in a previous video can you link two cameras to your computer and control them and link them into OBS and use a dual camera setup well the answer is yes because you can just click down this click down menu if you've got two cameras plugged in they'll be both there and you can control them individually and in uh, OBS they will show up as two different sources so you can do that which is a brilliant really you can have multiple of these cameras running into a stream you've also got this which is one of my favorite features which is control via your phone so if we scan this QR code on there on your phone you'll get this little controller pop up where I can turn left and right and that's the controller if I record my screen as well so you've got all you can enable tracking you can turn left and right up and down and that's moving the camera from my phone instantly connects as well there's no messing about there's no delay it just works and that's what I love about it it's so good you've got the different presets up there that are on here that I've actually created so you can see that if I press the preset it goes to that preset that I set before which is kind of bonkers really and then you've got all the tracking single tracking group tracking desk mode and everything and zoom in there as well so you can do all that from your phone which is another amazing option so if you're over the other side of the room you can control this camera from your phone it's absolutely bonkers and just close that down to get rid of it so that's brilliant that's another brilliant feature of this camera and no other webcam has that feature along the bottom you can change the resolution to 4k from 720 uh, Portrait resolution and high frame rate, disable low resolution, disable. I'm just going to have it on 1080p just for the, this particular purpose. And then you've got AI tracking. You press this for group tracking. You've got whiteboard mode, smart whiteboard, and desk view. And then here you can take a screenshot and actually record directly from this as well. So the actual software is so good. Like I've mentioned, it's where Insta360 really, really excel. Yes, their products are fantastic, but because the software is so good as well, it makes the user experience that much better. So that's the software, and then with the price, the, the old link was like over £300, and that was probably out of reach for your average row. For professionals, maybe, you might be able to stretch that much, but for most people, over £300 is quite a lot of money. These have been slashed, so the Link 2 is $199, and, pounds, and then the Link 2C is $149. So these are much cheaper than the previous generation and you're getting just as good hardware and the software has obviously been improved over the last 18 months or so as well. So these are fantastic value for what you're getting when you buy one of these webcams. Both really good quality. You've obviously got the gimbal on here with the touch sensitive button on the front. You have this sort of little ring indicator on the front, the microphones on the top of the Link 2. So you've got the Link 2 and then you've got the Link 2C which is much the same, it just hasn't got the gimbal. So both of these have the similar build quality. In the box you get the magnetic mount which mounts to all display sizes. Um, you've got a cool inch on the bottom of this as well for mounting it to a tripod which we'll just talk about in a second. And then you've got this adjustable thing on the top there for adjusting the angle of the webcam. These are both magnetic, both the Link 2 and the Link 2C, so magnetized to that. And then you've got a really good high quality USB-C connection on the back for connecting it to your computer, Mac or PC. Comes with the cable, comes in the box with a USB-C to USB-A adapter as well, because not everybody's got USB-C on the computer, so that's a handy little touch. And then you get the four markers for the whiteboard mode in there as well. With the Link 2, you've got portrait mode, so you can put the magnetic mount onto a tripod, 
turn it sideways like so, put it into portrait mode in the software and then you can record vertical video. So that's um, another great thing about the Link 2. Only available on the Link 2, not on the Link 2C. Privacy is obviously very important as well. Both of these cameras have privacy modes built into them with the Link 2C. You just switch this switch up and down. It's got a switch, uh, privacy switch in there. And then with the Link, all you do is when it's turned on, you point it downwards like that and it turns automatically into privacy mode. So yeah, both of these are private and secure as well. So overall, if you're after the best webcam, these are amongst the best on the market. And like I said, when it comes to 360 video and 360 cameras, they're doing the same thing. The user experience is above and beyond because you've got that amazing software, which makes it really easy to get some really professional things done with these cameras. You've got virtual camera, you've got 4K quality, you've got the special effect backgrounds, you've got the bokeh, you've got all the special tracking AI features, whiteboard mode, desk view mode. There's just so much you can do with these cameras. They're not just a webcam, they can do so much more now as well. So well worth the money. If you do want to grab one, there'll be a link in the description down below this is a sponsored video by insta360 but i've been using their products for four or five years now and i've never never been disappointed they just keep on getting better okay that's it for this one i shall see you on the next one if you've got any questions by the way let me know in the comments down below i'll be happy to answer as many as i can okay see you soon bye